Hey, let's look at some more interesting great circle routes and distance maps. A great circle route from Madrid to Moscow passes directly through or very near several important European cities along the way, including Toulouse and Lyon, France, Zurich, Switzerland, Prague, Czech Republic, Wrocław, Wuch, and Warsaw, Poland, and Minsk, Belarus. You can start on the Mexican Gulf Coast east of Mexico City near Jalapa, where jalapeno peppers come from, by the way, and head east-northeast passing between the Florida Keys and the Bahamas and keep going for over 5,100 miles until you run into the western Sahara coast of Africa without ever touching land. Some of America's top tourist attractions are all in a line. A great circle route from the Hollywood sign to Manhattan passes directly through the Grand Canyon and four corners along the way. Boston's Logan Airport is closer to Keflavik Airport in Iceland, which is an actual route you can fly, by the way, than it is to any of the major cities on the west coast of North America, like Vancouver, Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, LA, or San Diego. Perth, Western Australia is closer to Indonesia's capital of Jakarta than it is to its own capital of Canberra, let alone Sydney. Would you guess that New Delhi was closer to Tokyo or Copenhagen? Trick question, it's actually exactly the same distance from both about 3,640 miles. So there's a little town in the northwestern corner of the Texas Panhandle called Texline. It's closer to the state capitals of New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming, Nebraska, Kansas, and Oklahoma than it is to its own state capital of Austin, about 520 miles. If we expand that circle to include all of Texas, TextLine is closer to all of New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, about half of Nevada, Idaho, Montana, North Dakota, Minnesota, Illinois, Mississippi, Louisiana, and smaller parts of California, Wisconsin, Kentucky, Tennessee, than it is to the farthest point of Texas. That's a total distance of 800 miles. Sticking with the theme of everything's bigger in Texas, the town of Anthony at its westernmost point is closer to the Pacific Ocean than to Orange in its southeastern corner, and Orange is closer to the Atlantic Ocean than it is to Anthony.